Yesu mungu de makanjo ubengi jike Ya Yesu mungu de makanjo ya 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 Mungu abunde kai mari yo mungu de makanjo ya 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 Allah mungu de makanjo ya 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 Yesu mungu de makanjo ya 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 The next song, for those of you that know the song, I want you to sing it as loud as you can. Are we together this morning? The song says, when I look all around, God is with me. He's ahead of me, he's behind me, and he's right here with me. Are you ready to praise God this morning? Has he been faithful? Has he been faithful? Are you sure he's with you? Are you sure? Are you sure? The reason why you can give God praise this morning is because God is with you. Are you rather with me now?
Take a testimony now that demonstrates his greatness. Be blessed as you listen. Sometime last year, and it's been amazing. Okay, so um, last week I was having like really bad um, chest pain. Um, the pain was so so painful that i couldn't even speak loudly i couldn't um make some sudden movements it was so painful i was trying to uh, manage the pain and then when i woke up on sunday morning that was that's last week um sunday the pain was so bad i couldn't even um stand upright when i got to church i couldn't participate in anything during the praise and worship i would stand for a bit i would sit for a bit I couldn't sing, I couldn't dance, I was just holding my chest and bending forward to just um, trying to find some relief. After church, we were driving home and then I saw something really funny on the road and it made me laugh hysterically. I laughed out so loud. After laughing, it occurred to me that I had not laughed out loud in such a long time because of the pain in my chest. It was something I couldn't do even just maybe like 30 minutes ago in church and then all of a sudden I can do it. So I was so surprised and it occurred to me that the pain in my chest was gone, the pain in my back was gone, I was completely healed. And then when I was sharing it with my husband and my friends, they um, reminded me how um, after the preaching, Pison said, um, you will get to a point in church where if you, are f if you are feeling unwell, if you are sick, if you just come into church, you get healed instantly by just coming into church you get your healing and i was like wow i don't even know at what point i got healed in church but i was healed totally i was completely healed so later on i, I still feeling some pain in the left side of my stomach and it made me feel so embarrassed because I, I, in fact, I couldn't even tell anybody. I didn't want to tell my husband because I felt like I had just been healed from chest and back pain. And then suddenly my tummy is paining me. I didn't want my husband to say, ah, ah, again, another one. So later on at night, I was dealing with the pain, like I was trying to bear the pain. Then I just thought in my mind, I was like, come on, the same healing power that healed me of this chest pain. Is that power not still at work in me? In fact, this pain in my tummy is gone right now. I just thought it in my mind. I didn't say it out loud. It was just a thought and instantly the pain was gone. God has healed me completely. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. You know, the beauty of God's word is that once you just recognize it, it happens for you. Just recognizing that his power is available, it happens for you. As you recognize God's power in your life, May you receive your testimonies in Jesus' name. Father, we ask that you take all the glory for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Please do well to also share your testimonies. 
And to do that, you can send it to either the WhatsApp number of the church, the email of the church, or also be ready to present it on Thursdays in the morning. The details to do that is displayed on the screen. Be blessed as you do. Thank you. Hallelujah. Can we please rise for the hymn? Amazing Grace. excited to be in God's presence this morning. Hallelujah. We are praying this morning. Psalms 102 verse 13. I'm reading from a TPT version. I know you are about to arise and show your tender love to Zion. I want us to read this together. I know you are about to arise and show your tender love to Zion. Now is the time, Lord, for your compassion and mercy to be poured out. The anointed time has come for your prophetic promises to be fulfilled. So we are praying this morning, Father, in this season, let your manifested favor 
be clearly demonstrated in my life and the words you have spoken concerning me are accomplished in the name of Jesus. I want to look at him. But it's in Kanka. The cousin Chewa. Are you on a Kamar Kalman? The Kaki Futa. Akaina. So Tapata. A chicken soon and yes. Umika Muria Muga. Ubangi Jim location. We are doing this morning. Ubangi Jim. Bangi Jim. When I go there, Maka Summer. The cousin Chewa. They are accomplished in the name of Jesus. Master Tole Pandas shall live right in the ground. Ela Bondas and Tole Pandas and Tole Pandas shall live right in the ground. Ela Bondas and Tole Pandas shall live right in the ground. I experience favor all round favor in every aspect of my life in the name of Jesus. Master Tole Pandas and Tole Pandas shall live right in the ground. Master Tole Pandas and Tole Pandas shall live right in the ground. Men will see the favor of God upon my life. Oh, Makela Dashala Banda Zotoli Bayarabasa Sikatus, Renda Bayarasha, Abrondo Zotoli Bayarasha, Ekatisa, Lebondo Zotoli Bayarasha, Ella Brando Zotoli Bayarasha, Ella Dasha Talibrandi Zotoli Bayarasha, for I am surrounded with favor as with a shield. Mando Sotole Braha, Ela Brenda Sikatu Sotole Bredusta, Favor is my name in this season. Mando Shale Braha, Ela Brando Sotole Braha, Sotole Brando Shale Braha, Ela Brenda Sotole Bredusta, Ela Brenda Reka Deza Tama, Ela Brenda Sotole Brenda Shale Bredusta, Ela Deza. Every promise is upon my life. They are fulfilled in the name of Jesus. I experience them. I see them. In the name of Jesus, Master Tole Brenda Shale Brenda, Ella Brenda Sutole Brenda, Ella Brenda Sutole Brenda, Brenda Sutole Brenda. Thank you, Father, for your favor. Thank you, Father, for the light that shines upon us. Father, we are grateful this morning. Oh, my Savior, you are mighty. 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 We give you praise, O God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. It's time for our Bible reading. Let's open our Bibles to James chapter 3. We'll be reading from verse 1 to verse 12 in the New King James Version. My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. Muda muke koyarwa za a yi mana shari'a da kiddiga mafi tsanani For we all stumble in many things if anyone does not stumble in word he is a perfect man able to bridle the whole body Domin dukan mu muna yin kuskure da yawa in kuwa mutum ba ya shirme a maganar sa to shi cikakken mutun ne yana kuwa iya kame duk sauran gabbobin sa ma Indeed we put bits in horses' mouths that they may obey us, and we turn their body, their whole body. Gami sali, idam mun sali nzami abakin doki, dom mu bida shi, mukan sarra faduka jikin sama. Look also at ships, although they are so large and are driven by first winds, they are turned by a very small rudder, 
wherever the pilot desires. Kudu bidira again ruwa kuma. Kuoda yeke sina de girma. Haka kakarfer. Haka kakarfer. Iska kuma. Tana kora su. Duk da haka. Da dan karamin karfe ne. Matsuki yeke ju ya su. Duk in da yenufa. Even so the tongue is a little member. And boasts great things. See how great, great a forest a little fire kindles. Haka ma har sheyeke. Gashi dan karamin abu ne sai manyan fariya kudubi yadda dan karamin kyatsu yake kunnawa babban jeji wuta and the tongue is a fire a world of iniquity the tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature and it is set on by fire by hell har she ma wuta ne fa a cikin diggobobin mu Harshe she ne tushin kowace irin mugunta mai bata dukkan jiki mai zuga zuciyar mutum ta tafasa shi kuwa gidan wuta ne yake zuga shi for every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind don ko wana don kuwa ana iya sarrafa kowace irin dabba da tsuntsu da masu jan ciki da halittar ruwa dan adam har ya sarrafa su ma but no man can tame the tongue it is an unruly unruly evil full of deadly poison amma ba dan adam din da zai iya sarrafa har shi ai mugunta mugunta ne da ba ta hannuwa a cike yake da dafi mai kashewa we did we bless our god and father and with it we cause men who have been made in the similitude of God. Da shi muke yaban ubangiji uba. Da shi muke zagin mutane wadanda aka halita da kamanin Allah. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not to be so. Da baki daya ake yabo ake kuma zagi. Yan uwana ai wannan bai kamata ba. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Ashe marmaro daya ya iya bubbugowa da ruwan dadi da na zatsi ta ido guda. Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives or a grapevine bear fig? Thus no spring yields both salt water and fresh. Ya yan uwana ashe baure yana iya haifar zaitun ko kuwa inabi ya haifi baure haka kuma ba dama a sami ruwan dadi a idon ruwan zartsi amen the lord bless you of his word in jesus name bari ubangiji ya sa albarka a maganar sa cikin sunan yesu praise god mu yabi allah hallelujah mu yabe shi i like to invite anyone here you're trusting god for something zata so ta gayyaci kowa da yake nan in kana dogara ga Allah kan wani abu and you like us to pray together as a church kuma kana so mu yi addu'a tare a madadin ikilisiya please just come forward and let's kneel before our father tana roko mu zo gaba mu durkusa a gaban uban mu if you're not coming forward please kneel wherever you are and just join us in prayers in baka zuwa gaba zaka yi durkusa inda kake ka hada tare da mu a wurin addu'a a god is a good god Allah mu Allah ne mai kyau and is full of mercy yana cike da jin kai He is faithful mai adalci ne and he doesn't get tired of us kuma baya ga jiya da mu he says we should ask yace mu roka and when we ask we will receive kuma abinda muka roka za mu karba so i want you to go ahead this morning don haka tana so mu ci gaba da safe nan just ask your father kawai mu roki uban mu he is ready to hear you yana shirye don ya ji mu and he has answers for you kuma yana da ansoshi domin mu go ahead and just ask clearly mu ci gaba mu ci gaba da roka zayyanne father we thank you this morning ya uba mun gode da safe nan we thank you for this opportunity lord mun gode domin wannan dama uba father your sons and your daughters are here this morning uba ya yan kama za da mata suna nan da safen nan they are asking for different needs and issues and problems in their lives suna roko akan abubuwa daban daban da damuwa da al'amura na rayuwansu father in your great mercy 
I ask, O God, that you meet every need in their hearts, Lord. Father, with you, nothing is impossible. Whatever that need is, O God. Be it financial. Be it healing. Be it breakthrough. Be it peace in their hearts. Whatever it is, open doors. Business opportunities. Excellence in their academics. For contracts to come through. For visas to be granted. Whatever it is, healing in the body. Healing in the mind. Oh Lord, I ask God that you help that one trust in you. And you put faith in their heart to strengthen their faith in you. I ask so God that your hand rest mightily upon your children. I ask so God that you help them, Lord. Send help from your sanctuary this morning. Let your angels begin to walk on their behalf. I ask God that your love overwhelms that heart that is feeling afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, according to your riches and glory, meet every need. Fill their mouth with testimonies concerning these issues that they have laid before your feet. They will come back with testimonies to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O God, for solutions, for wisdom to be granted in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your faith rest upon your children. Perfect everything that comes concerns them. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Always answer us. We give you praise, Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. I want us to rise up. Knowing that our God has heard us. Just give him praise as you go to your seat. Give him praise. I can hear you blessing his name. Father, we exalt you. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. One of my sincere desires is to grow in intimacy with Jesus and to become more like him. If that's your prayer this morning, just go ahead and say the sweet prayers to Jesus. Say, help me to be more like you. Help me to be more like you. In a mari mari zomun tadake Noon a mani fos kanka In a mari mari zomun tadake Nizambik kohina Yina marmari zo monta da ke Ko ya mani hanyanka Yina marmari zo monta da ke Ni zambi Ko yina Yina marmari zo monta da ke Nuna mani fuskanka Ina mare mare zo monta da ke di zambi ko ina ina man mare zo monta da ke nuna mani fos kanka ina mare mare zo monta da ke di zambi ko ina ina mare mare
Allah. Amen. Fisayo. Amen. Is this my mic? Huh? Is this my mic? Hallelujah. We are be Allah. Now lift up our hands. This and and give him praise. Give him glory. Give him I want you to say thank you to him for at least two things. This thank you. Life. Thank him for your health. Thank him. Just go ahead and thank him specifically. For your sanity. Are you are still here standing. No matter where you are, no matter what has happened to you, open your mouth and give him thanks this morning. You're worthy of praise and adoration. Thank you, Abba Father God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Alright. You're not hearing me. Sire, he said he cannot hear me well. Can you hear now? Oh, that, that is not working. The speaker there is not working. Hallelujah. Please, you may be seated. Can you hear now? This is not working. This side is not working. Huh? Yes, it's working now. All right. Good morning. Barakada Safia. All right, so we are wrapping up our series. This is the shortest series ever. Three parts. Little big things. Little big things. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. 
Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. Without all that getting, get understanding. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. So I'll give you pastors according to my heart. Which are feeding with knowledge and understanding. In Isaiah chapter 4 verse 6 it said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. There are, there are things you must know to avoid being destroyed. So the thief cometh not but still to kill and to destroy. The destruction is the ultimate of the works of the enemy. And the people of God can be destroyed by the enemy. If they don't have the relevant knowledge. And one of the things you need to know is the ways of this kingdom. Uh, in, in, this, in this kingdom, great things come in small packages. Powerful things are packaged in little things. When you study the word of God, you see that great trees grow from small seeds. Typically, the, the things that produce something doesn't look like the thing they produce. When you hold the seed of a tomato in your hand, it looks very tiny, very dirty. And typically very dry. There is no resemblance between the seed and what it produces. That is one of the knowledge that you must acquire. Because God can bring you your husband. And it doesn't look like the husband that you've been praying about. But, but inside that man, is the man you are praying about. In Luke chapter 13 verse 18 and 19. Then said he, that's Jesus speaking now. So unto what is the kingdom of God like? He said, there it shall I resemble it. He said, like a grain of mustard seed. Which a man took. And cast into the into his garden. Yes, And it grew. And works the great tree. And the fowls of the air lodge in the branches of. And this kingdom, when God gives you something very small, you, if you recognize what is inside that thing, you are, you are going to treasure it. You will build a garden for it. You will nurture that thing. Trying to produce something very massive for it. One of the errors of living is that people look at what God has given to them. And they despise it. it. Say, what is peace among so many? There was a woman who was broke. She was even the wife of a prophet. Her husband was a prophet. And he died broke. He died indebted. And after he had died, the debtors came to take his son. And they wanted to pay the bond servants until they were able to pay back the money they took. He ran to meet the prophet and said, Prophet, man of God. My husband was one of your servants. My husband was one of the servants of God. My husband was one of the servants of God. The fact that you are serving doesn't mean you will not be broke. If you, you can serve with all your might. But the answer to your prosperity will come in seed form. 
an sa domin ci gaban ka yana zuwa ne a kamar ne iri idan har ba kai wani abu akan wancan iri ba za ka ci gaba da talaucewa sai annabi ya tambaya yace me kike da shi a gidanki domin ta waye annabi ne ta wurin rayuwa cewa ba wani da Allah bai bashi nasara ba koda ma mutumin talaka ne hakan bai nuna Allah ya ba su nasara amma dai kai ba su san abin da ya kasance na ci gaban su ba things that we move them from poverty to prosperity they've not recognized hakan ya nuna abin da zai fitar da su daga talauci zuwa ga arziki ba su gano shi ba sai matan tace ba ni da komai a cikin gidana by the way have a little pot of oil sai yace amma dai ina da tace amma dai ina da dan karamin mai is that a solution to my problem yace wannan zai kasance sulhu ga damuwa na the man say yes that can help sai mutumin yace i wancan zai taimaka you know what you are going to do now sai yace mata kin san me zaki yau you go and borrow a lot of vessels idan har kin je gida ki a ritulanni da yawa sai ki rufe kanki a cikin gida start pouring those oil in ki fara zuba mai din a cikin you know what happened mun san me faru all the empty vessels were filled dukan wanda suka kasance ba komai sun cika sai ta dawo don ta samu annabin tace ka gani ya faru ba yanzu ina da mai da yawa a cikin gidana sai annabin yace har yanzu baki san me zaki ba sai ya yace ki je ki sayar da su pay your debts biya kudin gidanki and what is that you have left go and buy another oil abin da kike da shi ya rage ki sake sai wani mai sai ki ci gaba da kasuwancin mai And I'm telling you that there is something God had given to you. Yana ga ya mana cewa akwai wani abu da Allah ya ba mu. Ba za mu rena karami ba. If you can recognize how to use that thing. Amma idan har za mu kula da kyau yanda za mu aiki da shi. Condition that thing. Idan har mun lura da yanda za mu dauki dagoranci wata. There are big things will come out of it. Abubuwa manya manya za su fito daga cikin. Great things come in little packages. Abubuwa masu girma suna fitowa ne daga kananan kwalaye. Little inches they say swing great door. Kananan inji sune suke zama manya. It is little keys that open bank vaults. Kananan makullai sune yace suke bude manyan kasu the mustard seed the smallest of seeds yace kananin karamin irin can shine iri mafi kan the biggest of trees ya girmar da bishiya babba that is the way of god wannan shine hanya ta allah that is the way of the kingdom wannan shine hanya ta wannan mulki small beginning does not mean small ending kananun mafari bai nuna hakan nan za ta kare ba beginnings does not mean small ending kananun mafari bai nuna haka karshen sa zai kasance ba this started with only four persons wannan ikilisiya ya fara da mutum kudin ta wife da shi ne da matan sa and two of my friends that were visiting my house da kuma abokan sa biyu da suke ziyarta gidansa myself and my wife da shi da matan sa and two of my friends that were transitioning through abuja da wasu abokan sa guda biyu wanda suke tafiyarwa cikin abuja when the church started that day yayin da ikilisiya ta fara ranar can it was not the form that i wanted it to be wan can ba shine photon yadda yake so ya kasance ba because i went to a church that started domin ya je ikilisiya wanda har ta fara and the first service they were like 50 at at cikin sujadan su na farko su kai so at the back of my mind i also wanted to start like that a zuciyar sa yana tunani shi ma ya fara kamar haka i didn't know that already had what enough to start bai san cewa yana da isashe wanda ya kamata i was waiting until i'm able to set up get a hall yana jira wai har sai ya samu babban daki buy a few equipment ya sai wasu kayaki kadan start the church at that level sai ya fara ikilisiyan a wancan matsayi but god was busy telling me i've already given you the form amma allah yana ta gaya masa cewa na rika na baka hoton is your first venue wancan mazaunin dakin ka shine wurin ikilisiya ta farko that your television is your first led screen wancan tv shine zai zama madubin ka na farko your wife and your two friends are your first members matar ka da kuma abokan ka bi su ne mambobin ka ta farko so, so most times we, we 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 don't recognize that what we already have lokuta da yawa ba ma iya gane cewa abinda muke da shi is enough seed for the things that we desire ya zama isashen iri domin abubuwan da muke bukata bigger does not mean better Baba bai nuna mafi kyau ba bigger does not mean better babban abu bai nuna shine mafi kyau smaller ba. does not mean inferior karamin abu bai nuna cewa shine great men ba. they say are known by the way they treat small men manyan mutane ana sanin su ne ta yadda suke tafiyar da kananan mutane great men are known in the way they, they treat small men manyan mutane suna sanuwa ne ta inda suke tafiyar da kananan and if you mutane. observe right now idan muka duba yanzu haka things are getting smaller abubuwa suna ta kankanta in all of manufacturing things are getting smaller a cikin dukan al'amuran da yake tafiya yanzu abubuwa suna ta kankanta 
If you see the picture of the first computer, you don't have manga photo on a computer and a phone. You need a crane to move it into your house. Can I have got some one up a domain? Can you can't even put it inside a house? Bazaka is sour at Chingi Daba. Put them inside a big library. Zaka is Sashi Ababang. Massive stuff like that. If you see the first microchips, Munga microchip, one hundred MB, MB that is he's bigger than this, is bigger than this pulpit. Yazama Babafiera one in the machine. But you see, microchips are getting small and capacity is getting bigger. Ama Munga microchip, Yanzuana Zamak, and I mean, yeah, once a command, it is clearly showing you that people are realigning to the way God created things in the beginning. Yana Nuna Mana Abayanetia, Amata, and Suna Tafia, because everything God created in the beginning, He created them very tiny and very small. Took up in the Allah Halitada, the Parkoya Halitis, the most Arami, powerful things come in small packages. Duke and Abu Wamafi, Eco Suna Zuane, Akankani. In Proverbs chapter 30, verse 20. 24 to 28. Talatin, Takos. This is one portion of scripture I want you to study on your own. We don't, we don't have time to, to, to exhaust it. You will see four little things that are very powerful. And they are extremely very wise. Proverbs 30, 24 to 28. So there are four things which are little. Four things which are little upon the earth, but they are exceeding wise. You, you, should, you should acquire wisdom to compensate for your size. If, you, if your size, if you are not very tall, you must have sense. If you are not very big, in must have sense. Dole kazama basira. You must have something that covers for your deficiencies. Dole kasamu wane abu wande yeke kiwa. There are four things that are very small. They are very little upon the earth. Akwe abu bua goda kudu wande skake anana amasi. But they are very, they are very exceeding wise. Sun kasan chema masi. He said that ants are a people not strong. Yeche chena kasu sun kasan chema. They are not only very small. They are also very feeble. Yes, they prepare their meat in the summer. Say the ants will never lack food to eat. The conies are but a feeble folks. Yes, they make their houses in the rocks. The locusts have no king. They and Dabban so passed the city. Yes, they go forth all the all, all of them by band. Ama took the haka so can tapizu aga asusu. The spider take it all with a hand. Yes, they gizo gizo so can you tapia the hand na yes. And is in the king's palace. San na kumasa na chicken. So 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 what about we saying to us that here that is that if Ab if. If if your size is a problem, you, 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 need, you, need, to, you need to you need to work with other people. The, the, the hands started working together in numbers. So, so for, because of their size, they, they compensated by becoming a band. The same thing with the locusts. They, they, started, they started working with other people. The, the, there are times what God has given you is not enough. You, you need to look for other people around you that you can put resources together. The Bible said that two are better than one. A three-fourth cord can easily be broken. There are times where what you have is not enough to be your seed. You need to look for other people that are like you and you combine strength with them. Then you become a Force on the face of the earth. The Bible says we should go to the ants and learn. So one of the things you learn from the ants is that, that by the reason of cooperating with one another, that there is no season where they don't have food to eat. If you stay by yourself and thinking that you are enough by yourself, you are not enough by yourself. During summer, you 
you will be broke. Aloka chinda, aloka the, the, the thing talauchi. you can learn from the conies is that they take advantage of the environment. By, by their nature, they are very feeble and weak. But, but they penetrate the rock. And they surround themselves with the rock. There are times you need to take advantage of the community that you find yourself. You take advantage of the fellowship that you find yourself. The, the people that God has surrounded you with. They, they, they become the covering that you have in the day of trouble. You, the, the spider on the other hand there very very weak and feeble but very skillful so this one thing that I can do I will do it very well and you see the thing spinning weaves and weaving the webs there and, and build a system to protect itself and also build a network that captures food for it without its presence that is the skill that God has put in your hand you can take advantage of the world wide web you, you will take advantage of the world wide web and you, and you deploy that thing there and you'll be getting money from America you get money from Australia like the spider that built a web and captures food when it is not there there is something that you have inside your hand it might look very tiny there but if you walk on it and you deploy it in the web it will begin to attract resources to you there it will give you access into the palace I want you to take time to meditate on this on yourself let us consider some little things this morning that are very powerful and that will have to our body of thoughts there are four things I want you to bear in mind as we close this series. And, and these four little things, they speak to the anointing of God upon your life. The most important deposit that God has put in you is the anointing inside your spirit. You must never forget that the most important thing that you have of God is the anointing that is inside your spirit. If songs of Solomon chapter 2 verse 15, he said, take out the little foxes. The little foxes. That spoil the vine. He said, for our vine are tender grapes. For our, for our vines have tender grapes. Take us the, the foxes. The little foxes that spoil the vine. For our vine. I have tender grapes. And when you when you take time to, to study the vine, you see that it has the capacity to grow into a tree. And as it begins to grow into that little tree there, and begin to bear the grapes downwards. The grapes of the vine are usually close to the ground. And, and because they are very soft and tender, they can be easily eaten by, and, and they can be easily devoured by insects and by foxes. And if you remember in, in, book, in the book of John chapter 15, Jesus, Jesus said, I am the vine, and you are the branches. And 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 he said, You are he said, I'm the vine. My husband, my father is the husband man. He said, Every branch in me that beareth no fruit, he take it away. So the reason for the vine is for the grape. 
The reason for the vine is for the branches. The reason for the branches is for the grapes. The reason for the grapes is for the wine. And the wine is the anointing. So the every investment that God is putting upon your life is to make you a fruitful branch of the vine so that you can process fresh wine from your life. So, so that when people, make, when people contact you, they will contact the anointing. So the purpose of the vine is for the, is for the grapes. And, 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 the, and the number one objective of the wicked one is that you don't bear fruit. Don't forget the parable of the sower. He said the sower sows the seed. And the reason for the planting of the seed is because there is fruit fruitfulness that is projected and desired in the future. So when God plant the seed inside your heart there, the, the, the enemy will come and take the seed. He fears the seed. He cannot take the seed, he will kill the seedlings. He doesn't kill the seedling, he doesn't want the, 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 he, he doesn't want the tree to bear fruit. And when, he, when the tree bear fruit, he doesn't want he doesn't want you to take 100% of the fruit. You want to reduce it to as much as possible to maybe 30 times or 60-fold, 100-fold. So we, we must make sure that we protect our fruitfulness. We must not allow the enemy to destroy the vine. We must not allow the enemy to eat up our vine. To eat up our grapes. Grapes. We must ensure that the, 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 the little foxes that destroy the vine don't have access into our lives. You must, you must, you must shield yourself from the things that can take the anointing of God from your life. Because the enemy wants to destroy the vine so that the vine does not produce the grapes so that the grapes cannot be processed into to why you must guard your heart and guard your life you must see yourself as the guardian of god you must see yourself as the guardian of god you must see yourself as, as, as an investment that god has made on the face of the earth and is counting on you to bear fruit and that your fruit will abide but there are little little foxes that are sent into the into the field of God to destroy the things that God is doing inside our lives. The reason for the vine is for the wine. The reason for the vine is for the wine. The reason for the vine is for the wine. So the vine will produce the grapes and the grapes will produce the wine. The, the vine will produce the grapes and when the grapes are processed it will produce the wine of the spirit. Now let me show you three of those foxes there that can destroy the vine. Number one is a little folly. A little folly. There was a little, little things there. One of such little things is little foolishness. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1 The dead flies. Dead flies. Dead flies cause the ointment of the apocatory to send forth a stinking savo. He said, so do it a little folly in that is in reputation of wisdom and honor. Can you give me that scripture in a simpler version? Maybe in the 
message or the TPT if they have that version. Yana so abada saakon adui mafi sauti. Or the amplifier. All right. Which version is this? This King James. So give me the simpler version. Little foolishness. Yeah, check. I mean, water. There, there. Are, yeah, and and the thing with flies is that flies. Uh, when when you see flies in scriptures. When Abu Akan Kuda Jeshine, Idan Kaga Kuda Je Atkin Aya. And in the aya. spiritual sense of it. Dole ne ka kaleshi tapangare rohani. Flies, flies are the physical equivalent of demons. Kuda Je sun kasanche asale al amari na al janu wanda ke payene. Flies are the physical equivalent of of of. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm done. I'm, I'm gone from that. Flies is the physical equivalent of demons. And, and so, you know what flies does? Is that you give, if you give flies access to anything, they, they excrete into it. And what they excrete is a maggot. Maggot. Margot. Okay, Tuza. Margot can't be Margot in Ausa. <laughs> okay, I don't know what Margot. <laughs> so they excrete Margot. So can Samar the Tuza inside that system there. So you don't give access to flowers. But that about the drama that, that's why the Bible says, give no room to the devil. You open the door to demonic activities inside your life. You you excrete maggots maggot into that space. That's and and maggot degrades. They, they, you know, when, when, you see, when, 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 when a, if a rat dies, you know, your rat's running all over the roofs. There are one day, okay, yawa, and I've seen Bida. some of the church rats in this church. Yana Ganin, there are one night, yeah, massive stuff. Soon Cassanchi, Manya Manya. Church rats are no longer poor. Yeti, Yeti, Asalem Erana, Ecclesia, but they are healthy and looking very good. Sunan and the Latia, Anna Kalon Sukuma, the kill. And at times we, we introduce some things in the space to kill them. What's the local town, Makansa, what's Abu Wa, wearing domains, cashes, and, and they can die anywhere in the house. And, and you will now begin to smell something very stinky. You, you see that stench that you are smelling. Is, is, it is because of the activities of maggots. When, when the maggots enter the, the bowel well of the rat. They begin to eat it up. As they begin to eat it up, they will begin to release chemicals that, that translate to stench. The, the Bible is saying to us that, that in the realm of the spirit, if you allow foolishness inside your life, you'll be like a living dead man. That demonic maggots do enter your life, they'll begin to eat up aspects of your life. And when people yuanka. begin to interact with you in that area, it is, it is strange that they will be experiencing. Just like in your marriage. If you open the door to foolishness, if you open the door to foolishness there, you open the door to the maggots of life, and your marriage will be repulsive to you, your marriage will be repulsive to people around you. There are little, little habits there that can be little foxes. Little, little habits that can be little folly. Sexual immorality is on top of that list. Five minutes of pleasure. Five minutes. You, 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 you can open the door to a lifetime of problems. And when these things enter, you don't know. There's one pastor. 
An evangelist now. One of the biggest evangelists at the time in the world. I won't call his name. And, and he, 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 was, he was on top of one of the biggest ministries in the whole world at that time. As at this time, their, their annual offerings and donations and things that come to them is more than $300 million. And, and he, 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 went, he went to an hotel to an holiday. He was just idling around. And, and he, he had an affair with a prostitute. He had an affair with a prostitute. And left and just within five minutes, entered the hotel. No, this more than ten minutes and left. The prostitute, me not the church person, didn't know who the person was. Later saw him on TV. This is this man now. This is the man of God now. This is the man of God now. This is the man of God now. So she saw as an opportunity to make money. Because a prostitute have no value. The only thing the prostitute value is money. You can, you can imagine what happened. She went public with it. A big scandal happened. Because the man of honor. The man of wisdom. A man that over the years has demonstrated wisdom and honor. One little moment of foolishness. Open the door to him. Foolishness entered there. His ministry came down. He even went yasa. to prison. Are we get what I'm saying there? There are things that you might call little. If you allow them to enter into your life, they have enough power to bring down everything so that you have been building. Little pleasure there can open the door to a lifetime of problem. You need to watch your actions. Number two, a little fire. A little folly. Say little fire. James chapter 3 verse 5. He said the tongue is a little member. And boasted great things. He said, Behold, how great a fire. How great a matter. A little fire kindled. Little fires are triggers of great infernos. If you see massive forest fire burning there, they started from a spark. You see a big building burn to the ground. It started with a little fire. And spiritually speaking also, you must pay attention to your words. In, in a little fire, Fully, you pay attention to your actions. The things you do. The things you do. They can translate to folly. And they can trigger problems inside your life. But in the case of little fire, there are words. You need to pay attention to your words. The things you say with your mouth. The things you say to your boss. And just one word can start a problem for you. Like when fire starts burning, you, 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 you can tell how it starts. You cannot tell how it will end. One of my dear friends is going to come and speak during our awakening conference. I think in, in the first week of February this year, the church caught fire. The church caught fire. And within 10 minutes or so, the whole church had burned to the ground. I went to see the place. I went there. The church is like two times this church. About 2,500 chairs. Still arranged. 
but all burnt. Amatika sunkoni. Everything burnt to the ground. Koma ya koni zwa. All the air conditioners. Dukan al amari ni. The LED screens. Dukan madubi na bangon. It is with the frame you just know there used to be LED screens. Zaka iya ganin sa ne chawurin. Everything burnt to the ground. Koma ne abu ya koni zwa kasa. And he was telling me. Say ye na ge amasa chia. Say they were going to have a major conference. Ye che zaso samuani taro. It was the first day of the conference. Ya kasa nchira na na parko na taro. Everything was set. They were there. Everybody was. They were all ready. And a spark. They just saw a little spark in the ceiling. Papa, papa, papa. A Electrical spark. And they have drips like this. Before you knew it, the thing that caught the drips. Fire started burning. Hundreds of millions burned to the ground. It can, it can take you ten years to build something. A little fire can build. Burn it down in ten minutes. You can be building your marriage there over twenty-five years. And you run your there. mouth anyhow. You burn it to the ground. With, With our, our mouth, mouth, we have burnt down many things inside our lives. It is very instructive to note. That the Bible said that when the Holy Ghost came upon them, that a cloven tongue of fire, a cloven tongue of fire, appeared on their head. And the Bible said that that tongue is what set in course. It set in motion the course of nature there. It was in Genesis when God spoke. And since God spoke everything that God said is still playing out. Your words are like fire. And as long as fire has something to latch on, it will keep on burning. You must be very careful the things you say about your life. Don't use your words to burn down your marriage. Don't use your words to burn down your business. Because fire sets up a, a chain reaction. The same thing too with your words. Your words can stir anger in the heart of yours. Your, your word can stir anger in the heart of your boss. Don't use your word to incite violence. That is why you, it's very important. You know, you see like Hitler. He, he spoke an entire nation to go and kill people for no reason. He will speak with passion and with fire. You know why? Because if there is any time you need to use your words, is to use it to put fire of hope. Fire of love. Fire of passion inside the hearts of men. Not to incite violence. Not to trigger anger. You should use your word to steer the fire of love. There's a way somebody, your, your husband might be out of love with you. Or your wife is out of love with you. You can use your word to steer that emotion. Again inside. Little words can trigger great fire inside your spirit. Your tongue is a tongue of fire. When we speak words, we are speaking fire. You can use that fire to burn down cancer. You can use that word to burn down cancer. You can use that word to that fire, that tongue to burn down the works of the enemy. You know, fire can be good and fire can be bad. When you use it properly, you will get the good of it. And when not properly used, it can be very destructive. That is a little folly. When you speak words that are against yourself. It can destroy the vine that you're building. And the and third folly there is a little sleep. It's a little sleep and a little slumber. A little folding of the hands to sleep. It's yet a little sleep. A little slumber. A little 
little falling of the hands to sleep. Are you giving me the next verse? A little sleep, a little slumber. He says, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth. And thy want as an hammer. He said, Their poverty shall come as one that traveleth. You know, when a visitor just come unannounced, the visitor just shows up. He said, When you sleep too much, poverty will visit you. And when a visitor come knocking on your door, they already come. You know those visitors that come without invitation? Have you, have you ever received a visitor either to your office or your house that you did not invite? What the Bible is saying that when you sleep, when you, when you fold your hands too much to sleep, say a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. He said, Poverty would start a journey. Poverty will start. Poverty live very far from you. But there is a way you will be sleeping. Little sleep here. Little sleep there. And poverty will now find you as an address. They will start a journey to your house. And they will just arrive. Poverty didn't just arrive. It was your sleep that invited it. And it is your hand that sleep is targeting. That sleep is when you are sleeping, you do like this. Or you do like this. And you see that hand of yours. It is your hand that sleeps. When you are sleeping, you see that hand of yours. Is what the enemy is targeting. The, this, the problem is not the sleep. The problem is that when you sleep, your hands are inactive. And when your hands are not active, poverty is already headed in your direction. And if you see this scripture was written twice in the Bible. It was when I was studying this series, I saw it. It's in Mark, it's in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 10 and 11. It is also in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 33 and 34. It was repeated verbatim. And God does not waste space. For it to be repeated twice. Is that this thing is a very important message from God. Remember the, do you remember the, the dream of Pharaoh? He said that you had this dream two times. Is that this thing has a lot of information and wisdom. The same way Pharaoh dreamt twice so that he doesn't become broke. Solomon had to write this thing two times. That if you ignore it, when famine comes, you will be wiped out. So the sleep there targets your hand because your hand is the driver of your prosperity. Your hand is the driver of your prosperity. The Bible says that whatsoever you lay your hands to do shall prosper. Whatever you lay your hands to do shall prosper. The Bible also says, Whatever your hand find doing, do it well. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. He say, Whatever the hand find to do, do it with thy might. Say, Whatever the hand find to do, do it with their might. Say, Because when you lay your hands to the plow, you will not be poor. When you lay your hands to the plow, you will break your grounds and sow your seeds. When you lay your hands to the plow, don't sleep. Great poverty is sponsored by little sleep. Great, great poverty is invited by little sleep. Poverty will start a journey to your house. When you are a man that sleep too much. What is little sleep? sleep? Now because people will say, you said, I'm not saying you should not sleep. The little sleep is that extra sleep after you wake up. That extra sleep. Because you are not sleeping. 
That extra one. After you wake up. It's not every time you wake up you feel like waking up. But if you now say you now go back and sleep again. See that extra topping sleep you put on top there. Poverty will take note of you. So this is a good candidate to be sleeping. I want you to bow it and talk to God. So Father, open my heart. Open my spirit. Help me to see your word. Help me to make adjustments. Release your grace upon my life like never before. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll, we'll fumigate this way. It's okay. your church now, so even we should solve the problem. Amen. That's why we need to leave this place very fast. All right. All right. So I have, are there questions? Good morning, peace on. How can one allocate time to different activities that mm -hmm. one does, considering that sometimes most hour is fully dedicated to an individual? In our corner, peace on. Taya, ya wani zee itapia achikin aikin sa. Sanna ya kula da wasu abubwa wasu loka chi awani kamari yada yasam aiki. Yeah, so but you are not employed 24 hours. Yeche ba abaka aiki awa ishirinda huduba. If you are working any place and you are working 24 hours. Inkana aiki awani wuri aiki nyake awa ishirinda huduba. And they don't give you off time. So even if you have to work for 24 hours, if you work for one week for 24 hours, you're entitled to one week off work. For Is that okay? The like security guys that work in this place, they work 24 hours for seven days. And they go home for one week. And they go home for one week. And they go home for one week. So they go home for one week. So that time that you don't work, is the time you should use to allocate to the things that you want to do. One of the richest guys in this church didn't have money at that time. So he told me he wanted to start his business. I said, if you start your business now, you'll be, you'll be hungry. Because if you start now, you might not make profit for the next six months. So this is what our advice is to go and get a job. 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 Just work Monday to Friday. That business you want to do, do it on Saturday. Try to make money from it on Saturday. After six months, come and show me what you have done. I will be able to predict if you step out of your job and start that business, you make money. There are, there are businesses you can do at night. My younger brother works in a bank. He has like four other businesses. He has a barbing salon. He has a laundry laundromat. He does laundry and services for people. He has a catering services. He's even the official caterer of his bank. He does catering service for all his colleagues. Including the executive director in Abuja. The woman even called him one and said, you cannot resign from this bank without telling me. Because you are a valuable staff. Not because of the bank work, because of the catering service. He also has a chemist. Not a pharmacy, a chemist. <laughs> we also have a provision shop. Provision. Five businesses. Busy banker. Very busy bank. When he was buying a car, he bought a um, Sienna. I said, I'm a banker. He said, I need it to be carrying cooler. All you need is wisdom. Open your eyes. That no matter how busy you are, you can still make money and you have enough time. So only people that are very rich in the world have like 70 businesses they run. You only are working in one place. And you have three children and one dog. So you have three children and one dog. And you are complaining. Calm down. You're not busy enough. Another question. That's the only question. Praise God.
Good morning. Welcome to church. I hope you had a, a good time in service so far. I'm sure you were blessed by the word that came from Peace On today. A lot of insight. As we will always say, please go back and listen to the message over and over again. There is always a wealth of knowledge. There is a wealth of wisdom that you will draw from the message, especially when you listen to it second uh, the second time, the third time, etc. There's always a lot that you gain from it. So please go ahead and listen to the word again. I'm sure you will be blessed. Don't forget, your words are important. Okay, right about now, we're going to be taking our offering and our tithe. The account details will be displayed on the screen for you, so you can go ahead and give your offering and your tithe to the account details being displayed for you. Whatever currency that you are using, the account details are being displayed for you, so please go ahead Give your offering and give your tithe, whether it's pound, dollar, um, uh, euro, or naira. You can see all the account details being displayed for you. Please go ahead and give your offering. And as we do that, I will say a quick word of prayer over our offering and our tithe. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word, which has come forth to us with clarity and precision. And we pray that it finds good soil in our heart and that it bears much fruit. Father, we ask that as we give our offering and our tithe, we pray that it will rise up to you as a sweet-smelling salvo and that it will be acceptable in your sight. Father, we ask that it will return to us in a harvest of things money can buy and things money cannot buy. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, please feel free. If you haven't completed your transaction, you can feel free to go ahead and continue with that while I take the announcements very quickly. As we say, all our messages are available for free download on our online platform. The QR code is going to be displayed for you, so please feel free to scan that. It will take you to our Telegram, and you will be able to download all our messages. We also leave our messages up on whatever platform you are watching on, Facebook or YouTube. So you can go there, you can listen to it over um, again. Please feel free to do that. They are free. We're not charging you, but they are life to your body. Also, um, BMC will be holding on Wednesday, as usual, 5.30 p.m., Luke chapter 8. Make sure you study ahead for that. Second service is coming up, and we have with us a special minister, Minister Abby Ojomu. You don't want to miss out on her ministration. Please make sure that you are ready. It is going to be an amazing time of morning worship in God's presence with her. Please make sure that you join us for second service. We'd love to have you there. Also, Healing School with Peace On happens here at the Purple Place every Friday by 9 a.m. If you are in Abuja, you know anybody in Abuja um, who would love to be a part of this, whether it's someone that is sick with a long-standing illness, or you could also just want to get more insight into healing, you are welcome to please join us for this. We would love to have you come here and receive this insight and be blessed. Our Easter Rock concert is coming up. In case you are not aware because we're not like the traditional you know anglican or catholic church but today is palm sunday i hope you're aware so easter is almost here and as we you know take this time to reminisce and to remember all that christ has done for us it is a time to just look back at christ's walk to the cross and be mindful of his sacrifice so that we don't abuse that sacrifice. And so in light of that, just to remind you, Easter Rock Concert is coming up. It will be holding this Friday by 5.30 p.m. It is going to be an awesome and amazing time. You don't want to miss out. It will be a time of transformation and a time of refreshing. So please make sure that you join us for that. It's going to be amazing. And Sunday, of course, will then be Easter Sunday. We have two services as usual, 6.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Please make sure you join us for Easter Sunday. We would love to have you there. We also have our Easter outreach coming up in our Kabusa campus. We are going to be reaching out to those around us with clothes, free clothing, free food, free medical checkups and drugs, prayer and counseling. If you would like to support this, please feel free to go ahead and to give to the church. You can you know, put in the remark that it's for the Easter outreach. Um, you can get more information by sending um, a message to our WhatsApp number that will be displayed on the screen for you. 
Our WhatsApp number will be displayed on the screen for you. You can also get more information about that. Um, it's a time to just reach out to the less privileged in our society, our Easter outreach. So please feel free to reach out, feel free to support, and of course, pray with us, pray along with us for the Easter outreach program. Yes, I hope we are ready for an amazing, amazing time in second service. I hope we are ready to be blessed. I hope we are ready to be ministered to. Uh, of course, please don't forget to join our online campus. Our online campus is where we dish out all the juicy information, all the juicy gist about everything that's going on. We have giveaways, we have the daily, uh, the de declarations for the week posted up there, and a lot of other information. And of course, Wisdom Lane on Wednesday with Peace On, it airs only on the online campus. So please feel free to join us on the online campus for all that as it goes on and don't miss out on it. You can see the link being displayed there for you. You can head over to holyhill.mn.co and it will take you straight to the online campus and you can watch it. All right, now let's head into the main auditorium and join Peace On as we close service. I'll see you shortly. In the second service, we'll have our guests. Asujada and Abiyuza Musambakwarmu. Music minister. Maitafia Rawaka. They had, they had a very powerful prayer meeting here yesterday. Many of you were here. Many of you attended. Ava was here last yesterday. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. I'm so she was ministering um, in the second service. And next week Sunday we'll have Gaze Baba with us. And this, next week Sunday is Easter Sunday. Marco Mezua Marco Nena Easter. It will be Easter Sunday with um, Afro flavor in it. Zaika Sanche Easter Murna Natashi Yesu. So invite your friends. And of course, on Friday night, Friday evening, we're here for the um, Easter Rock concert. Mugayachi Abu Kamu Ran and Juma Kumazam Kasanche the concert. Is set for that. One day Kasanche Al Amarina Sauti the Waka. On the eighth, which is like two weeks from today. Ran Takos Gawata Kumaka Marsati Bu the Gayo. We will start our conference, the awakening conference. A Marco at Aquana Kisha Biarda Gayanzudan Fara Tarum and Afalkas Wa. So we have eight speakers. All of them coming in from Lagos. And most of them are coming in either with their spouses or with some of their aides. Two music ministers are coming in also. Make Sam and, um, and um, New Onadejo. Yeah, they are coming. So why I'm stressing this is because we need to buy a lot of tickets, a lot of plane tickets. The Lily in the SIK fighting one machine, a quick book at a Mose Cassie Dewa. So I want you to pay for the best give to us the plane tickets. Yana so mobile tower and be and ticket now. So also give to us your hotels. I think the mobile Kuma account hotel that that's his owner. So those of you that gave last year for the anniversary for the conference, you can give again this year. If you can give, if everybody gave what they gave last year. Or double what they give us, they will have enough money to do the thing. I, I was telling my wife yesterday that I'm feeling like I'm alone. 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 I'm feeling Bama Saura Ronsa Bama Barwa a program they can do a lot of things. I'm not nagging, but I'm just tired. Yeche Bawe Yana Wuna Wunibane and Maya Gajini. I feel drained. Yana G. Kamaya Bushi. But I have to encourage myself in the Lord. Ama Kwebuk Ata, a car for cancer chicken Ubangiji. So please, let's give. Don't hack our mobile. No matter what you have, just give. Even if you don't have what you gave last year, just, just send some. Koda Mami Kache the Shika Bayer. Don't ignore my call to give for the program. Like, like when, when, um, when, Sinach, when I was asking for us to give to us the Sinach meeting, maybe like 20 people responded. And we are like 1,500 in this church. What is the problem? Is it the economy? What? I don't think it's the economy. I don't think it's the economy. So the, and the best time to even give is when there is scarcity. One of the things that brought down fire. 
Daya daga cikin abin da ke kawo wuta kasa. On the altar of Elijah. Shi wanda ya wanda ya wanda ya kama asalin After he arranged the stones. Bayan da ya jera duwatsun. He put the sticks. Sai ya sa itatuwa. He put the animal on. Sai ya sa dabban akai. Now poured water. Sai ya sa ruwa akai. Why? Me yasa. Water was scarce. Ruwa an ana rashi ruwa. It had not rained for 3 and a half years. Yace babu ruwa har shekara uku da rabi. The most precious thing he offered was water, not even the animal. Abu mafi kyau da zai bar shine ruwa ba ma da bamba. Plenty water. Sai ya sa ruwa da yawa a bisa hadaya. Because he knew rain was going to come. Domin ya sani cewa ruwa zai sauka. Before the one that he had. Sai ya zuba wanda suke da shi a hannu. One of the ways to provoke more rain. Daya daga cikin abin da zai saka kawo ruwan sama da yawa. Shine domin ka sa ruwa. When it rains, that thing becomes a sea. In ana rashin abun abun can ya zama iri kenan. That is how God has been blessing Hakan nan ne Allah ke albarkatan mutane. Hakan nan kuma albarkaci ikilisiya. Idan har kana son wannan ka bayar akan wannan taron. In har baka taba bayarwa a wani program na ikilisiya number 1 na lokacin ka bayar. I will not talk about this again. Ba zai sake magana akan wannan kuma ba. Wannan shine lokaci na ƙarshe na magana akan. Bari hannun Allah ya kasance ku san kowa. Mu kasance a sawayenmu da sauri zai yi kurci a kanmu. Ya zantar a kanmu da safen nan. That this week cewa wannan mako I want you to note the things that I say. Yana so mu kula da abubuwan da zai fada. You see them happen in your life. Za mu kuma gani su da faruwa a cikin rayuwarmu. This week wannan mako you be helped of God. Za mu kasance da taimakon Allah. This week wannan mako you be helped of angels. Za mu kasance da taimakon mala'iku. Wannan mako you be helped of men. Za mu kasance da taimakon mutane. Come to your rescue. Sarakuna za su zo ga tsaron. Doors will open for you. Ofofi za su budu a garemu. Such as you need you will receive this week taimako bisa ga bukatar mu zamu karba makon hannun Allah da ke tashi zai kasance a kanmu you be promoted za a hayar da kai za a karfafa ka and or tell you win da sama da kasa duka za mu nasara da kayin mu da wutsiya duka za mu nasara a cikin girman sunan Yesu Allah ya albarkace mu mu samu mako mafi kyau i'll see you in on wednesday okay first time a please a first time bakin mu First time, please come. Ba kim mu kuzona ngaba. Let's clap for him. Ba dem mu tapa mishi. Hallelujah. Ya bi Allah. God bless you. Allah al barakatika. Amen. Amen. The Lord God rest upon you. Ba dehano Allah ikasanche bisha. No, 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 you can stand. Zake yezaiwa. God bless you. Allah al barakatika. Who invited you? Why ge yezaika? To a friend. Yes, she. Towering a boy, kin sa. Please meet her doctor. She will take you to. Asamu eru amu takai ka wuri marapta. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for service today. I trust you were blessed. I trust you were ministered to. I hope you had an amazing time in God's presence today. Right about now, we're preparing for second service. As we said, we're going to have Minister Abby Ojomu joining us for second service. Make sure you stick around. It's going to be an amazing time. And if you're not going to be with us, have a blessed rest of your day. Oh, if this is your first time worshiping with us, let us know in the comments. We want to know. We want to give you a shout out. Have a blessed rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.